solving exponential equations. So let's start with a simple exponential equation. So 3 raised to n is equal to 12. So just looking at this equation, you can say, well, 3 raised to 1 is 3. 3 raised to 2 or 3 squared is 9. And 3 cubed or 3 to the power 3 is 27. So if you know these two facts, I can say this implies 3 raised to, uh, looking at this equation, we can say n, if 3 raised to n is 12, it should be between your n, should be between 2 and 3. Just looking at this equation, you can, and if you have this knowledge, 2 point something gives you uh, 12. So, before we solve this, so let me write the two rules that you need to know. So, you know this form, b raised, if b raised to x is equal to y, this implies log base b, I'll write x first and then write y. So, this is how I remember, b raised to x is equal to y. So, this from log form, you can read the exponent form like this. Always from the log form, have the habit of reading the exponent form b raised to x is equal to y. Okay, the second rule that you need to know is log base b of x is same as writing log of x divided by log b. So if you know these two equations or these two facts, you can solve any exponential equation. Okay, so let me uh, let me erase this. Let me use a bigger eraser. So I don't want this. So, using these two facts, I can say this implies writing this in the log form. Log, I'll write the base always first. I remember the base always is same in the log form and the exponent form. So, I write this like always as a habit. 3 raised to n is equal, or you write 12 like this. 3 raised to n is equal to 12. So, right, using this second rule, I can say n should be log of 12 divided by log of 3. Okay, so let me use a calculator. So, log of 12 divided by log of 3. So, uh, menu run log of 12 divided by log of 3 gives you should be between 2 and 3. So it's 2.26 the whole thing. So I'll write 2.26 in 1 dp. So this is 2.26 and I'm rounding this to 2 dp. Now to check my answer, to check my answer, this is how I always check my answer. My checking is always good. So 2 raised to the answer whatever that n was, should give me 12. 2 raised to whatever that answer was, 2.261, whatever, should give me 12. So let me show you how to check your answer. So 2 raised to, if you press the shift key and then this answer or this minus sign, this is 2 raised to the answer. The answer is this number, the whole number, is equal to, 2 raised to, oh, it is 3 raised to, sorry. It's good to always check it was not working. So this is not 2 because 3 raised to n, not 2. So this should be 3 raised to answer. So I should do it again because calculator has forgotten the answer now. Log 12 divided by log 3 is 2.26. And then I go 3 raised to answer. Oops. I'll go back. Let me scroll up. Okay. Log 12 divided by log 3 equal. And then I go 3 raised to 
raise to where is the raise to key this is the carrier key shift answer equals 12 so your answer is right so this is the correct answer okay so let me do the next question question two so let me erase this okay so uh, let me delete this whole thing okay let me try oops this is not what i want i want to delete this whole thing delete yes it's gone okay so i want these two rules okay so let me write the second equation second equation is uh, 8 raised to x is equal to 92 okay so from the exponent form we want to write the log form so this is i always write the base first so log base 8 and then i write to equal to so 8 raised to x is equal to 92. now using the second rule it says log base b of x is log of x divided by log of b so using that rule i can say that x is equal to log 92 divided by log 8 just like that okay so again my calculator log 92 divided by log 8 gives you the answer and to check your answer 2.17 in 1 dp but to get the exact answer we need the whole number so if you go 8 raised to answer should give you 92 8 raised to shift answer uh, i have to delete it okay equal yeah 92 so the answer is 2.17 so you can say x is equal to 2.17 2.17 in 1 2 dp in two decimal places okay so let me cancel this and write a new equation okay so this is next equation is let me uh, re increase this uh, difficult level so 2 raised to x plus 1 you can 2 raised to x plus 1 is equal to 39 so again the same rule same this is a log form the base is 2 so this implies writing this in the log form log base 2 of 39 okay this is a bit tricky log base 2 off no yeah so this is a mistake so log 2 raised to x plus 1 of 39 so this is how i read 2 raised to x plus 1 is 39 b raised to x is equal to y b raised to x is equal to y so so this is log 39 divided by log 2 is equal to x plus 1 and then taking away 1 from both sides log log how much log 39 divided by log 2 minus 1 is equal to x okay so let's check the answer okay so let's get the exact answer so x would be cancel log of 39 divided by log 2 and uh, minus 1 calculate I understand bit now so it'll 4.29 in 2 dp okay so let me 4.29 so let me write in so this is 4.29 in 2 dp now to check your answer i'm going to use this as the answer so 2 raised to answer plus 1 should give me 39 so i'll go 2 raised to i'll put this in the bracket shift answer so answer is this whole thing plus 1 close the bracket equals 39 okay so i want you to do these remaining questions i'll write the questions down and i want you to do it yourself okay 
So this is something that you can try yourself. So question 4 is 6 raised to x is equal to 256. Okay, question 5 is uh, 3 raised to x minus 5 is equal to 18. Question 6 is 1.6 raised to t is equal to 10. And question 7 is 12 times 0.25 raised to n is equal to 0 0.02. And question 8 is 325 times 0 0.8 raised to t is equal to 5. Okay, now if you're doing these questions and you want uh, me to see whether the answers are right, you can send your answers on this email address, which is Matthew, M-A-T-H-E-W, M at C-H-B-C dot school dot nz dot school dot nz uh, give me the write the questions down and the answers and if I will you can check your answers I've shown you the skill to check your answer you can check your answers by putting the answer back in the equation and checking it yourself.